We are planning to camp again tonight and I hope we have a better night than yesterday. But the morning was so beautiful that we just... We can't not do it again. <laughs> so after a rough first night, we packed up our camp and set out towards our next stop. The altitude would be a bit lower and hopefully everything would feel a little bit warmer. This is yak yogurt and it's pretty good if you add sugar to it, which they have. <laughs> <laughs> we just met uh, some of our followers on Chinese social media. They gave us some really lovely pears. This is China in Qinghai province. We live close to Xining, about 40 minutes away, and our first night we spent at Ladi Shan, Ladi Mountain. And then we drove to Longyangxia, a huge water reservoir. The roads were endless beauty and a bit distracting. Soon we would again find ourselves looking for a camping spot a little bit too late. We were not sure we were gonna go and stay tonight and then we just we had one place in mind but then we followed another road that looked very pretty and if we can stay here that would be amazing. For a small fee, we could enter Longyangxia, the scenic area, and they told us it was fine for us to stay the night. It wasn't cold really, but it was windy. So windy that we had to get up in the middle of the night and move the car behind the building. I guess that's something you can expect if you decide to camp on a mountain top. So the next morning, we made our way down, closer to the water. I was saying until.
可以介绍一下我们现在在在哪里？我们在青海省海南藏族自治州龙阳峡镇龙阳峡库区的河边。这边有那个现在热销的有那个三文鱼，还有小银鱼。今天偶遇了你们跟米粒跟永活，挺好的，过来转转。哎，好，谢谢。<笑>这个地方的话，夏天的话挺舒服的，安静的很，然后景色也挺好看的，尤其是这两天捕鱼期的话，晚上的话特别漂亮。Staying here by the shore of Longyangxia was amazing. Such a peaceful and calming place. And in hindsight, we said we should have stayed longer. But after just one night, we wanted to see what else we could find along Longyangxia. It is the very upper reach of the Yellow River, and we were sure there would be a lot of scenery to captivate us. And the Longyang Canyon did not disappoint. Found this most amazing scenic area, beautiful mountains and a lake in the middle. But we can't seem to get off the road.、Um, there's it's just mount, like mountain steep, steep mountain sides or blocked roads. So it、um, doesn't seem like we can go down. Look at these mountains. They're saying that we're gonna go in between here. I don't trust it. This side, this one. This one, yeah. We stopped earlier at an absolutely beautiful place with the mountains there, and we thought we want to stay there for the night. But we had, I don't know, we didn't get the right feeling.、Uh, we. So we wanted to go, and we left. So we stayed there and just played a little bit.、Um, and now, on the road, the road was absolutely beautiful. It was fantastic. And then we met a follower on our Chinese social media, and he recommended a little village. And this is where we're at now. And we managed to drive <laughs> across the sand and the stones down to to the lake again. And it's so pretty. Might be a bit cold, but it's very pretty,、uh, and we're not going to change places again now. It's too late.、Um, this is going to be it for the night. I'm just so amazed. We haven't driven that far from Xining where we live, and the nature, like the scenery, it's so like varied and so beautiful. We've seen all kinds of mountains and lakes and rivers and. I'm just. This is an amazing place.、Um, driving in Qinghai, I think I haven't been driving anywhere else in China, but I think because it's such a huge, huge province, and not so many people live here, relative to the size of it, and also it's now past、uh, the summer holidays. So that's why I think it's not so many people here. So you can find really beautiful and quite quiet spots in Qinghai, which I think can be difficult in some other provinces. <laughs>